kitchen items migrate to the living room or the toothbrush ends up in the bedroom. It's time to clean your house, guys. Taking you through your room, your home room by room is organizing expert Lindsay Wyson. <laughs> Easy tips that we can grasp onto, but just to, you know, get rid of that creeping clutter, that yes. clutter that just builds up on us and we're not really paying attention. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how do we start? Okay, so you don't want to think about getting rid of anything until you sort first. You just need to be a sorting robot. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're going to be overwhelmed. And before that, thinking about organizing your home, yeah. you need to hug yourself first. You do, <laughs> I love you. you need to hug yourself because okay. those gremlins are gonna fly in and say, how did it get so bad and you should be doing better and people get deflated before they have a chance to start. Mm -hmm. So get the self judgment out of there. Yeah, I love the psychology of that. Always so start with important. the psychology. Like even exactly. if you're losing weight, don't beat yourself up. No, you're fine. Exactly, you have but to you be just wanna be a little bit more healthy. Absolutely, it's all good. yes. So we have our lovely floor plan here yes and the very first thing you need to do when organizing your whole house is get things in the right room yeah so our whole home is a giant storage bin mm -hmm. and you need to think of each room <laughs> as a themed storage bin okay so think about finding your things in the right department yeah. so for example toys they don't need to be in the office let's get them in the right department I'm gonna put them in the kids bedroom sure okay so right. Tracy start picking up Okay, so I'm going to put some cleaning supplies yes. in the kitchen. Totally. I'm We've going to got take to a hat out of the dining crayons. room. Crayons. And think about, let's put that at the entrance. Yeah. And crayons, let's put them where we're going to use them. So probably in the dining room with the kids. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to exactly. put some letters and stuff in the office. Totally. And again, we're not judging ourselves. We're just it's getting, fine. we're just sorting it. Life is busy. Yes. It's okay. Yes. Gift wrap. Let's get all the gift wrap in one spot. Right. And I'm going to put that probably in the office. That's a form of family work. This is like what? Drugs, prescription, medication? Yes, exactly. Can be bathroom or kitchen. Where do I you want to put it? Put it. Let's put it in bathroom. Okay, let's put it, it in could, bathroom. It's where you use it. You raise a very good point. Yeah. If you take it in the morning with your food, then, then it you goes in the kitchen. Then it goes in the kitchen. Yeah. But for right now, let's put it in the bathroom department. Okay. The we're camera. Gonna, I don't know. Living room. That's where we okay, live. Okay. We're gonna put it in the living take room. Pictures. I think. More we've drugs. Look, we're living like we're living <laughs> the life yeah. here. Those, how, let's call those vitamins. Oh, let's vitamins. Vitamins. Got it. And scissors, again, the crafting in the dining room for the kids. We don't have to finish this. Okay. It paints a picture. But it's so fun. Oh, yeah. I wish it was like this in real life. Like if I went to my house and it was just sticky pages like that, yeah, it would just, be so much just easier. Sticky tack, exactly. So a lot of people feel like their houses are operating a lot like junk drawers. Right. Right? So this is. I got one of those. You know, everything <laughs> is sort of everywhere, yeah. but it's also nowhere at the same time. Uh -huh. So. If you're first, sort everything, get it into the right room. Then you're going to take out what doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. You're going to release some stuff. And this is the after you're going for. And that can be your home. Exactly. That's beautiful. Exactly. Okay, so we've done the sorting. We were sorting robots, as yes, you said. Exactly. Um, yeah, we are robots. Yes. And we got it all done. Yep. Now where are we? Okay, so after you sort, mm -hmm. the reason it's so important is because you need to make you need to see your collection in its entirety so you can make an informed decision about what you're keeping. Okay. If people wander around their house and pick up one item and say, should I keep this? Should I toss it? Mm -hmm. No, you can't make that decision unless you're looking at all of your mugs. That's right. All at once. The whole right? collection. Yes. So I've brought the largest culprits here today in okay. terms of, you know, what people like to hold on a lot of. Jeans. Yes. You need to sort them. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's a knowing giggle. Yes. Right? Um, you need to sort your jeans based on the dark ones, the light uh -huh. ones, the gray ones, and again, then you've got more information about what you should keep and what you should get rid of. Mm -hmm. I have a jean store in my closet. Yeah, yeah. Sizes 4 to 14. Yes. You can shop right. any day you like. Right. Everything's in there yes. for you. Yes. And really, you want to ask yourself three questions. Do you use it? Yeah. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. And ideally strive for both. Mm -hmm. If you love and use everything, you're living your best life. Right. Um, also, do you have too many of it? Mm -hmm. We have a space shortage in our life these days. People are dying for more space. Right. And you can have the things 
or you can have the space. So you really, a great question to ask yourself is, do I want the things more mm -hmm. or do I want more space? It's a good question. It's a good question. It's a very good right? question. Yeah. Journals. Yep. Uh, when we organize for people, this journal stack can be so high because it promises a good life. You're going right. to write in your journal. Um, again, do you use it? Do you love it? Do you have too many of it? Right. And would you prefer to have the space? Got it. And then the same with your mugs. Do you mm -hmm. need all of these mugs? No. And this is where you have to reverse engineer it. Ask yourself, who drinks hot beverages in our house? Right. And how often do we do dishes? Mm -hmm. And how many people will be drinking out of a beverage, out of a hot beverage cup at once? Yeah. And that way you can only supply in your cupboard what you need mm -hmm. and then more space, greater ease of mm -hmm. life. Because the answer is usually not 28 people it's sipping not. coffee. It's not. It's not. Every no. morning. Yes. It's not. It's usually two. <laughs>